welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from Hearts. So we're going to do you a bonus reading now. Uh, this is the how the X feels about you reading. Now we've done this a few times, well a couple of times I think before on the website, on the, ch on the YouTube channel. I like to revisit it every now and again, every few months. So we're going to do this reading for you now. Uh, we're using Chira Marchetti's Tarot of Dreams. Uh, it's a new deck, one of my new decks, absolutely fantabulous. And also we are using for you clarifiers the Hans and Robert's deck. Now the readings are shortened for purposes of YouTube because... Usually they were about an hour long or so, but, you know, a lot of people don't like the long, long readings. And I think I can get everything I need to say within half an hour or so done. Um, and also on the website, I do clarify every single area when it's bought as a personal reading. A lot of people have bought this reading as personal readings. And those readings are about an hour to an hour and a half. So we go through everything really thoroughly. But for the purposes of YouTube, we just do a snapshot, snapshot reading, okay? So with that being said, let's move these over here and let's start shuffling the cards. So Universe Spirit, this is a reading for Aries. It's the how does your ex feel about your reading for Aries. Show me who Aries' ex is in their life right now. So the ex, well, I just want to see who the ex is at the moment in their life. Show me in position one. Uh, position two, can you show me what their strengths are as a person, whether it's good or bad? What are the ex's strengths? In position three, uh, what is the X's weakness in position three? In position four, how does the X feel for Aries? In position four, how does the X feel for Aries? In position five, how does the X, how does Aries feel for the X in position five? In position five, how does the uh, X feel for Aries? How does Aries, sorry, feel for the X in position five? In position six, can you show me what the, were the strengths in the relationship when Aries and this person were in the relationship? What were the strengths? In position uh, seven, what was the weaknesses though in this relationship? When, um, when Aries and the ex were in a relationship, what were the weaknesses in this relationship in position seven? In position eight, what is the likelihood of Aries and this ex coming back together in position eight? Reconciling. In position nine, can you just give me a general overview of who this ex is as a person overall? Uh, in position 10, in position 10, what are the main blocks to Aries and this person reconciling? In position 11, can you tell me uh, if Aries and this ex were to reconcile, what would be the overall outcome? And finally, in position 12, if Aries, if the ex came back to Aries asking for reconciliation, what should Aries do? Let's have a look. Okay, so who is the ex in their life right now, Aries? They are the sun. This person is probably very happy. Aries, the sun energy. They look to be very confident. They might be in a new relationship with that sun energy showing there. They might be in a new career with the sun energy showing here. They might be on holiday with the sun energy showing here. It is the month of August. Okay, so yeah, the sun can definitely, because it's a Leo energy as well. It's the time of August. So they might be on holiday, for example. They look to be in a really good place with the sun energy because the sun is someone who is, in. if you feel the sun in your life, there's a great deal of happiness, there's a great deal of joy, there's new things that are starting up, success is the sun energy, this is new beginnings, successful new beginnings, this is a great deal of joy with this sun energy showing here. Um, what is their strength as a person? Judgment, they've got very, very good judgment with the judgment energy, they're very good at making decisions that benefit them. And they don't tend to hold back on that. So this person already looks extraordinarily confident. Also with the judgment energy, they tend to, their strengths are to face matters head on. In the reverse, you tend to not be facing up to things when you've got the judgment energy reverse. You tend to bury a lot of stuff. With the upright, this is all about facing your problems head on. So this person likes to face their problems head on. They don't like to have things simmer and they don't like things being underneath the carpet. If there's an issue, they want to address it and they want to face it with the judgment energy. Also, their strengths are telling people as it is because judgment also means to make judgments on others. So this person will tell people as it is. As it stands, that's it. They're not going to hold back. This person seems to me to be quite honest and open. It looks to me that way. What is their weakness, though? 
the Three of Swords in the reverse. Um, the Three of Swords in the reverse is all about healing. It's funny, I didn't put any reversals in here, but there's reversals that are showing up. One so far. Three of Swords is all about healing. I think that their weakness with the Three of Swords in the reverse is healing. Letting bygones be bygones. Forgiveness. With the Three of Swords in the reverse. I think their weakness is healing. That's their challenge, straight weakness. It's healing. And it's allowing bygones to be bygones. They tend to simmer, I think, with this Three of Swords energy being reversed in their challenge position. Because that's what healing is. Three of Swords reversed. Forgiveness is the Three of Swords in the reverse. I think that their problem, I think they have a weakness in terms with the Three of Swords in reverse in terms of healing and forgiving. And allowing bygones to be bygones. I think that they tend to hold grudges more than anything else with this Three of Swords in the reverse. And yet they seem to be very happy and very confident in their life right now. And they tend to tell people as it is with the judgment energy. And they, may, they have very, very good judgment. So probably exceptional intuition as well with that judgment energy showing there. And they tend to face up to their problems as a strength. But I think their problem is in forgiveness with the Three of Swords in the reverse and allowing bygones to be bygones, which kind of suggests to me that I might hold some form of a grudge. How do they feel towards you? Okay, they feel the Seven of Wands towards you. Um, seven of Wands, tricky, tricky card. Because on the one hand, with the Seven of Wands, you can feel very protective towards an individual with the Seven of Wands energy. You might feel like you want to fight someone's corner with the Seven of Wands energy. But also with the Seven of Wands energy, you might feel like you would need to keep somebody out. I'm going to see what that uh, Seven of Wands is about. I'll ask why they feel the Seven of Wands towards you. Uh, Universe Spirit, can you tell me why the X feels the Seven of Wands? What's the Seven of Wands about? You said that they feel the Seven of Wands towards... Aries. So what's this Seven of Wands about? The first card to tell me what it's about. Second card to clarify the first. Okay, so it is about, let me get the cards in the right position. The Two of Coins. And this is all about trying to manage or weigh up. Or this is about juggling. But it's about the Three of Coins energy. Uh, I think that right now, this person doesn't have much time for you with that Seven of Wands showing there is their feelings for you. I think that they want to push you out with the Seven of Wands. I think that their feelings are to really keep a distance between you and them with this Seven of Wands in the upright. Because for them, it's all about that they were trying to juggle this relationship. They might have been trying to juggle the relationship alongside work with the Three of Coins energy. Because we do have two coin cards here. So sometimes when you get the Two of Coins, this is the juggler. And what's the, what is this person juggling? It's juggling work, three of coins. So it might be that this person's trying to juggle a career here. And it might be that this person feels that they need to keep you out because they're trying to juggle their working situation going on here. Okay, it might be that they were trying to make time because the two of coins, if you want to look at that more in depth, one of the things we can say in depth wise with the two of coins is if you're juggling, you're trying to make time, especially with the two of coins in a relationship reading. This is all about trying to make time for each other. So this is about getting the diaries out and saying, right, so I'm doing this on this day. I'm doing this on that day. Where, sh where can we pencil in when we can see each other? You know, this is about trying to juggle your own time along with a relationship. And it might be that this person was trying to juggle, trying to build as well. Three of Coins is also about building a relationship with another individual. So this person might have been trying to juggle building a relationship with you as well as trying to juggle their work. And that's why with the Seven of Wands energy, I think that, right, because this is an X. So this is why I feel that this person need, is feeling with the Seven of Wands energy that maybe they just need to keep their distance with the Seven of Wands energy. They just don't have time for the relationship with you at the moment because they're trying to juggle so many things, especially their work. And they were trying to juggle building a life with you and it was getting all probably a little bit too much. What is your feelings towards the ex, Aries? Well, you still like them. You still feel that this person is your soulmate. You still feel a very much an emotional connection to them. You possibly feel that you made a great partnership with the Three of Cups energy showing here. Um, I'm not, I can't read this in terms of... Some of you guys, you might have felt there was a third party. Three of Cups is three people after all. So for some of you guys, you might have felt that there was a third party. But I don't think that there was. For some of you guys, you'll come back and say, well, there was, Carol. But 
you know, if you didn't have any solid information on this, you might have felt that this person, especially if this person left you, Leo, and um, uh, Aries, you might feel that this person was, did have a third party. Especially with that Three of Swords reverse can also mean affairs and cheating when it's reversed. So their weakness might be other people with the Three of Swords in the reverse as well. Especially we've got threes here. Especially if you th feel that this person had a third party there. You know, but for some of you guys, it might simply be with the three of cups in the upright. If it's not a third party, that your feelings are one of union. You might feel that this was probably the best person you ever knew. You felt so in alignment with the three of cups because the three of cups also means to be in sync with other people around you. Your feelings in this relationship might also be that the relationship might have been a bit crowded because the three of cups is to do with a group of people, especially if it's anything to do with work. Do you see what I mean? That maybe this ex-partner placed a lot more focus on their work and the people, that their workmates, their colleagues rather than you. So for some of you guys, you might have found that the relationship was a little bit too crowded. Too many people involved. Three of Cups. Some of you third party. For some of you with the Three of Cups, you feel that this relationship was the perfect union. What were the strengths in this relationship when you were in it? The Four of Coins. The strength was stability in this relationship because the four of coins is all about possession. When you get it in a good place in a love reading, this is about two people holding on to a relationship, stable, not going anywhere. You knew exactly where you were in this relationship, some of you guys did. It was run of the mill. It was traditional. There was a certain status quo that neither one of you probably wanted to veer from, you know. For some of you guys, the strength in the relationship areas would have been, well, this is mine and nobody can take it away from me. So there was a certain possession quality to this relationship. A certain sense of that you had found someone that you felt would stay with you. That you felt would build a life with you with this Four of Coins energy showing up here. You know, the strength in this relationship was the building with the Four of Coins. Gain leads to build. So what you had there was something that was stable and something that insecure and something that you could probably try and build on for the future. For some of you guys, you felt that you possessed a jewel because I'm looking at the jewellery box that this person has and it's got four coins in it. So what you felt that you possessed was something of high value as well. So I think the strength in this relationship was that you did value each other to a certain extent with the four of coins energy. But the weakness, the seven of cups in the reverse... The challenge stroke weakness of the relationship was the truth. Even though I see great value in this relationship, the weakness stroke challenge of the relationship was the seven of cups in the reverse. This is about the reality. What was the reality of the relationship? What's the seven of cups reversed about in the weak stroke challenge position? What's the seven of cups reversed about in the weak stroke challenge position in two cards? Well, the Age of Cups, somebody wasn't focused on the relationship too much. Somebody was in search of something else. And what was this about? The Hierophant. The Hierophant is all about a belief, a religion. So somebody was searching with that Hierophant energy. Somebody was searching for... Let me pull this up a little bit here. So this is what this is about. This Eight of Cups, somebody's walking away. It might be that the reality was that somebody wasn't 100% focused on a commitment. Because the Eight of Cups is also... Can you see how the Eight of Cups walks past the Hierophant? Can you see that? Walking past. They're heading in the other direction. If you look here, look at the cards. Whether this Eight of Cups is behind the Hierophant... Or whether it's in front of it, it's always walking away from it. Somebody, I feel, and I think it might be the ex, was not entirely focused. And they weren't committed to the relationship. They weren't, they were in search of something else. But it wasn't the commitment. It wasn't the union of the relationship. They weren't focused on marriage. Or they weren't focused on the commitment. If you were in a marriage, they weren't focused on that. They were looking for something else. And that was the reality. That was the weakness. Though you valued each other, I think, with this four of coins energy being the strength in the relationship. You know, I think that the value comes because coins mean all sorts of things. It's not just money and it's not just value. It's also about sex and desire. 
And I think the value was in sex and the value was in the desire and the value was in the earthly aspects of the relationship, how you guys felt together, you know, with this four of coins energy, what you were building together. You know, you seem to have had this stable energy that you were building sexually, uh, um, financially, perhaps for some of you guys with the four of coins energy. Uh, in terms of your homes with the four of coins energy there seemed to have been something that you were building here however there was the reality is the weakness that somebody was not focused on entirely on a commitment here perhaps marriage for some of you guys i think that i don't even think that because there, there isn't a focus i think on commitment with this eight of cups walking past the hierophant you know somebody wasn't focused on doing something in a traditional way so it might not have been just marriage, it might be that one of you, especially, and I think it would have been the person, wasn't entirely focused on doing things monogamous. So one of you might not have been, you know, focused on having a monogamous relationship, which would dispel building a strong relationship. I don't think this card is about that. I think the strength was that you both valued each other. You might have valued each other in terms of the way that you both looked, for example, because pentacles can be about being attracted to what something looks like. And this guy on the four of coins is attracted to what these coins look like. They give him his value. So the strength might be, um, and, and the coins I'm afraid are a very superficial uh, energy. They are, a lot of readers don't read it like that, but I certainly see the superficiality within a coin card. Okay, and this is in your strength energy. So I think the strength of this relationship was in not only the superficiality of the relationship, i.e. your bodies, your looks, uh, what you could do or bring to the table for each other, how other people viewed your relationship or how your friends viewed your boy, this person and how his or her friends viewed you, uh, Aries. I think it was a purely superficial thing and I think that was the strength. I think it was built on, even though the four of coins should be stable energy, it's not really. Not when I look at the jewellery box that he's opened, he's saying, look what I've got. Can you see how this guy looks? He's got the four of coins and he's almost like, this is mine. Look at what I have. So I think the strength in your relationship was all about the presentation to the outside world of what you both had in each other. But when it came to literally following the guidelines of the relationship, because somebody's not following the guidelines with this Eight of Cups, they're walking right past that. So when it literally came to commitment, following the guidelines of a relationship, a monogamous relationship, Focusing on complete commitment. Somebody wasn't interested 100%. It was a very superficial relationship, I feel. And I feel the weakness was that there was a realisation about this, truthfully. Now, what's the potential of a reunion between you and this person? Well, you do have the Empress, so there could be new beginnings here. There could be rebirth with the Empress energy. But this will take work and this will take nurturing with the Empress energy. One of you might come back around and start trying to nurture the other. This is not completely out of the water at all. Because Empresses represent growth, love, care, nurturing and new beginnings. So there's definitely still potential here because there is still a healthy foundation in which to start to grow and build this relationship with the Empress. But what's blocking this from happening? And there's still love here. There's still attraction. Blocking it is the Four of Wands. And the Four of Wands is all about socialising. The open door. You can see there's an open door on this Four of Wands here. And that's what's blocking you guys from really doing this Empress business here. Because this person, there may be opportunities here. It might be that there are other opportunities for you or for this individual, what, which might be blocking you from having this growth in this relationship, this regrowth within the relationship nurturing, because there is a door open here with the Four of Wands. There are still opportunities available with this Four of Wands energy to explore other territories with other people. Who is this person overall, Aries? They are the Ace of Coins. You can see a man standing with a coin energy here. I think that this person is a solid and stable individual with the Ace of Coins energy showing here as a person. I think that this person has plans for the future and I think that they're trying to build on those plans. I think that they're investing in new things with this Ace of Coins energy. 
I think this person does want a commitment for the future. I think they want to start something. I think they want to start a new grounded reality with this Ace of Coins energy. I also feel that this person is pretty realistic as an individual because the Ace of Coins is somebody who is very, very realistic with the Ace of Coins energy. I think this person might be very money orientated to a certain extent as well with the Ace of Coins energy. Um, but I also think that this person shows off. You can see that on the card, I always read visually as well, that the man is very strong and he holds up a pentacle here. Can you see he's like a strong man? He's saying, look at me, look at how big this is and how much strength I have. So I get the impression that this person is very materially driven with the Ace of Coins energy showing here as well. If you were to come back together, what would the outcome be? Page of Coins. Could be a child involved. But I also feel that the outcome of this Page of Coins is that things would move very slowly. Both of you would want to invest in this relationship, but you would take your time to develop it with the Page of Coins energy. There'd still be so much to learn. And if this person should come back and want to reconcile with you, Aries, what should you do? No, not go for it. Page of Wands is reversed. You shouldn't go for it. Page of Wands reversed tells you to opt out. Tells you not to rush in. At least it tells you not to rush in. If they should come back, don't rush into it. With the Page of Wands in the reverse. And I'll ask why. If the X were to come back to Aries, why should they do the Page of Wands in the reverse? If the X were to come back to Aries, why should they do the Page of Wands in the reverse? I think there's been great hurt here with the Five of Swords energy. Um, but I also feel that because you've recovered from this hurt for some of you guys, to a certain extent, you know, you've got the Justice card here. It depends on how you read Tarot. Do you read it as a single sentence or do you say and with the Justice energy? Just thinking about something here. This Five of Swords in a relationship reading talks about conflict in relationships. It talks about an advantage taker, somebody who's taking advantage. That would be the need, I think, with this justice energy to try and readdress the balance in this energy here so there would be the need to try and heal I think through the justice energy this energy here because you've got the five of swords showing hurt I think that it's saying that you shouldn't go for this page of wands in the reverse you should be very cautious in accepting any reproposals from this individual because you've been hurt here and I think that this hurt has really brought you guys to try and with this justice card heal and readdress the balance again with this justice energy showing here and i think that some of you guys would be heading with that fall energy if you took this risk you would be heading for the same thing heartbreak is the three of swords i think you'd be heading for heartbreak heading for disappointment So this hurt that you experience might be resolved in the interim with the justice energy, but I still feel that you would be heading through foolish action. You would be heading for heartbreak. Some of you guys with the four of swords behind the fold, you're ignoring the need for healing. You take a risk on this situation, you're just heading for heartbreak. You're heading for pain. I think that really in the interim, this hurt would be healed with the justice energy because justice always readdresses the balance so if this person's hurt you the justice card for me should say they'll be healing in this with the justice energy this hurt will be readdressed or will be addressed by the justice energy showing here So however this person's hurt you, whatever conflict you've had with this individual, it will be healed. It will be balanced out with the justice energy showing here. Because it's almost like bringing a liar or a problem or a troublemaker to justice. 
However, I feel that you guys would then feel I'm on safe ground again. I'm going to ignore with the full energy the need still to heal with the Four of Swords to get my strength back. And you're heading for heartbreak here with the Three of Swords because the Ford is looking into the Three of Swords. It's almost ignoring it as well. Its head is up in the air. So this is almost like you're ignoring all the pain you've been through. And both counts. Because you've got the back turned to the Four of Swords and the head up from the Three of Swords. So you're not even looking at that Three of Swords. It's almost like you're hoping for the best. Despite what's happened. And ignoring the need for rest and recuperation. The Fall is very active and the Four of Swords is very passive. So it's almost like you can't sit still and you ignore what's right in front of your face. And that's why I think with this Page of Swords energy, Page of Wands, sorry, energy in the reverse, is that you should really act very cautiously. If this person came back, be very cautious around this individual. Because in the interim of this person coming back, this energy of the Five of Swords might be healed with the Justice energy. But in the end, you're ignoring, with the Four of Swords energy, the need for your own self-healing around this person. Also, you're ignoring your ideas, you're ignoring your intuition here, because the Four of Swords is all about contemplation and using our intuition, using what we've learned. So you're ignoring those energies, and what you're looking into or looking away from is the hurt and the pain that this person has caused you in the past. You know? So therefore, I don't feel that... I think that the reading is really saying that probably this isn't the type of person that you'd want to go back to. There is definitely, I think, with the Empress energy, the potential for renewal in this relationship with that Empress energy showing there. Definitely potential for renewal and nurturing and love because there's still love here. But the obstacles to having that is that there's still an open door here. There's still opportunities out there, especially, I mean, I think for both of you, but especially for this other individual as well. This person looks like a show-off to me overall. He looks like he or she always needs to, it's almost like this person as an individual sees people as commodities, because the Ace of Coins is really a commodity. It's a material, it's a piece of material. It's money, it's a possession. Two cards that show people holding possessions. Four of coins and the ace of coins. So the strength in your relationship is what you could show the world. Look at what I have. And this person shows as being an ace of coins. Somebody who likes to show what they have. Because he's holding the pentacle. Look at what I have. Isn't this the biggest pentacle? Isn't this, the, you know, the best pentacle? Haven't I got an absolute gem? This, they look like a very superficial individual to me. Very, very superficial. Very superficial indeed. And I think that you should run. I think you should be very cautious if this person comes back. Because whilst you might heal over this hurt showing here, with the Justice energy and the Five of Swords, Five of Swords being brought to justice, you may heal over this energy. You're forgetting. The Fool forgets what's behind him. So you're forgetting that you need to heal. You need to still <clears throat> gain some introspection. You need to still keep your distance with that Four of Swords from this individual. Because you're ignoring that this person could do this again. You could have a repeat of this all over again. So, yeah. That's your reading, guys, for how your ex feels about you. I'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe. And I will see you on your general readings. Take care. Bye-bye.